Hello everyone. My name is Aditya. I am a cloud solution technologist at Oracle. Today I am going to demonstrate the layer 3 isolation capability of the dynamic routing gateway. Suppose you are an ISV and have two customer networks with the same IP range in the data center as well as on OCI. The objective of this demonstration is to isolate layer 3 traffic in such a way that customer A can only connect to VCN A, customer B can only connect to VCN B and vice versa. I have already attached the VCNs to the DRG and set up VPN tunnels to establish connectivity to on-premises networks. For testing purposes, a virtual machine is deployed in each of the VCNs. Route tables are configured as shown. Let's get right into it. When you create a DRG, two default route tables are created for you. One for VCN attachments and one for all other attachments. Let's look at the route table for VCN attachments. As you can see, due to the same IP ranges, the route for only one tunnel is active. Now let's go to the route table for VPN attachments. In this table, only one arbitrary VCN route is active. Clearly, we need to change this routing. To achieve layer 3 separations, we will be using customized route tables and import route distributions. Let's create import route distributions for each of the four attachments. Let's start with the VCNs. We'll select individual attachments. For VPN, we will select both the tunnels from the single VPN. Now we will create four separate route tables for each of the attachments. Click on DRG route tables. Click on show advanced options and enable import route distribution. For VCN A, we will be importing routes from VPN 1. Similarly for VCNB, we will be importing routes from VPN2.
for VPN1, we'll select VCNA. And for VPN2, we'll select VCNB. The last step is associating the route tables with the respective DRG attachments. Let's start with the VCNs. Click on Edit and Show Advanced Options. And select the route table we created in the previous step. Click on Save Changes. We will repeat this procedure for every DRG attachment. Now let's verify the routes. We will go to the DRG route tables and see one by one. As you can see, VCNA now learns routes from tunnels of only VPN1. Similarly, VCNB learns routes from only VPN2. VPN1 learns routes from only VCNA. And VPN2 learns routes from only VCNB. Now let's do some connectivity test to confirm the layer 3 separation. I have logged in to the instances from both customer networks A and B. From network A, Let's try to ping the instance in VCNA. The ping is successful. Now let's try to ping the instance in VCNB. As expected, ping is failing because of the isolation that we implemented. Now from network B, let's try to ping an instance from VCNB. The ping is successful. Now if we try to ping instance from VCNA, it's failing as expected. In this video, we successfully implemented layer 3 isolation using the import route distribution capability of the dynamic routing gateway. Use cases of this feature include the isolation of customer networks if you are an ISV or fulfilling the separate connection requirements of your environments if you are an enterprise. To learn more on the capabilities of the DRG, visit official documentation on docs.oracle.com. Thank you for watching the video.